what is up youtube it's your boy timon and today before we start the video i just want to thank you guys so much for 200 plus subs you guys are the best you guys already know what to do if you want to see more content so let's get to it Today, we're going to be installing the shift linkage bushing upgrade for your 10th gen Honda Civic. SI specifically for my car, but if you guys have a 10th gen Honda Civic, this will work too, if you have a manual. So now, I'm going to pop the hood and we're going to take out the battery and I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, so you need a ratchet, a small extension, and a 10 millimeter socket to disconnect the battery. So after you disconnect the battery, all you need is a 10 millimeter open end wrench and then you're going to start loosening the battery tray. So now that you got all the battery stuff out the way, you're just going to have to lift the battery up and out. And also a tip, I heard that you're not supposed to put the battery on the ground for like, it probably shortens the battery life so I'm just going to put it in the WeatherTech floor mats in my car. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the new bushings that I got. And these are the bushings. Ooh, Acuity sticker, another one, okay. And these are the rings and I guess clips you have to put in. And I'll show you guys what I mean about how this bushing is a helpful upgrade eventually when you get the whole shifter kit and all. I'm just preparing myself, so I got these first. All right guys, so these two are the stock OEM bushings that we're gonna be upgrading to the Acuity bushings and I'm gonna show you guys how much play they have with them. So before we actually remove the bushings, we have to take out the C-clips. So these are the C-clips right here. There's one right here and another right there. All right guys, so these are the dreaded C-clips I'm talking about, but I think the easiest way to do this is, this is where the battery tray is. So you wanna slide your screwdriver or flathead or whatever you're using right under here. Try to get behind it and try to pry it up as you do it. All right guys, so as you can see, it's about like 20 degrees out and we can't seem to get the C-clip out but it's recommended to take it out so you can move the cable easier but I'm just going to show you guys the, the cheapest wrong way I guess you would like to say Alright guys, as you can see the damn C-clip is still in here and is not budging at all so all you want to do is just take out the pin right here you want to pull this to the left or out more and then slide the pin out so i'll show you guys that in a bit so grab like a flathead just pull this out and then at the same time as you're pulling it out you just want to pull back also and that's how you get the pin out so after you got the pin out you just want to lift this up and put your flathead in here and try to pry this up and out So rock it back and forth and like that. Here's one of the old bushing. All right guys, so we took the smaller bushing out as I showed you guys earlier, and this is the bigger bushing with the pin. So same concept, pull the left little curled clip out and as you pull back at the same time. There we go. So out with the old and in with the new. And as you can see, I think Acuity has like a spherical bushing which gives it a lot more or less play than the stock OEM one so Acuity was kind enough to send us new rings and pins so what you want to do is when you put this on you kind of want to go around with it and push it with your other finger as you wrap it around all right guys so for the smaller bushing you want the big rounder side facing you up top until it sits flush like that and then now you want to put the ring you see how it's I'm kind of putting tension on it that's why you want to take out the c-clip so you'll be able to like pull out this more or better and be able to twist it easier without causing a lot of tension but we'll try our best to put this ring around it now
and bam, just like that. So now you just wanna push this back in and put the pin that Acuity supplied us with. Now here's the pin. just like that so on this bigger bushing acuity is kind enough to say this side down so it's gonna be like that and the acuity brand is gonna be up top facing you while you put it in so there's a small opening right here on the bushing and I'm pretty sure that's where you would put the ring around it all right guys so after you put the the ring in on the bottom you kind of want to wrap it around as I said earlier the final piece bam just like that and we're good to go so now I'm gonna show you guys the difference with the amount of play compared to the stock All right guys, so now that everything's installed, you know, put everything back, vice versa, and we're gonna go take a drive and see if it feel a small difference or anything. All right guys, so after you connect the battery, it'll say like system initializing, and from there, you just wanna drive the car for a little bit, and everything should be back to normal after it resets and all that. So now we're gonna take a quick drive around the block to see if we notice any improvement. All right guys, so now, after I've driven about a block or so, I do notice a small improvement. The shifts do feel a little bit crisp and more stiffer in a sense. It's a really small change, but it, I would say if you drive your car for like thousands of miles, you would notice a small noticeable difference in it. And to really test it out, I'm gonna pump gas and then I'll really start getting on it and see how much of a difference it really does make. So I personally feel a slight difference only because my car has about 57,000 miles on the old OEM bushings that you guys saw from normal wear and tear. So these upgraded bushings are a solid thumbs up for me. So one thing I noticed too is that it's gotten rid of some of the gear crunches in between shifts as you can see. Bushings are a great small upgrade for about $70, $80 probably with shipping and all that but I eventually want to get the full shifter kit and I was going to need these eventually so I got it and hopefully that ties everything all together once I get it installed. Alright guys that's it for today's installation video I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys again for 200 plus subscribers you guys already know what to do comment anything down below if you got questions give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful subscribe to your boy let's keep it moving let's keep it going and I'll see you guys next time peace nature so now we're gonna take a quick drive and I'll tell you guys if we see any small improvements in So now we're gonna take a quick small drive to see if we'll notice any small improvements or notices. <laughs> oh,